the sadly, yet aptly named Dead Dog Beach in Puerto Rico, lived up to its name recently. According to reports, none of the, the feral dogs on the beach survived the onslaught of Hurricane Maria as it hit the island last week. Dead Dog Beach, also known as Sado Beach, gets its name because of the amount of canines that flock there and roam around after being dumped by their owners. Credit the Sado Project The Sado Project, a non-profit movement set up to help the dogs during this time, was created by Christina Beckles. The American had plans to get the pups adopted or move them out of Puerto Rico, though after she arrived there after the storm, she learned that the dogs had all died. Once the hugs and tears were over, the first thing we all wanted to do was go to the beach to look for our feral dogs, Beckles wrote on Facebook. Sadly, we did not find them, and our hearts are heavy with the reality upon seeing the utter devastation at the beach they did not survive. She later updated another status, saying we have nothing left. Everything is destroyed. I cannot even take this in right now. I do not even know where to start. Or if I even want to. The devastation on Puerto Rico is there for all to see, as many people have been left without electricity. There is no power or water. We are under curfew from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Food is becoming scarce and people are getting desperate. Looting has already begun. The lines to get gas are 7 to 10 hours long to receive $10 worth of gas, Beckles told the New York Post, commenting on the current state of the island. Despite the sadness she's gone through over the last week or so, some uplifting news came for her, as she was informed she'd be the recipient of the Moroccan Oil Inspiration to Action Award for her work with the Sado Project. She wrote in a Facebook post I am incredibly humbled to be among the group of fearless women you see below who are being individually honored for their philanthropic efforts. There is no time to celebrate as I am now working to get all of our dogs evacuated off the island in the next few days and then help as many others as we can. I promise to use this platform to bring awareness to the catastrophic situation in Puerto Rico and of course the plight of the Sados. It's very bittersweet, though her efforts have to be applauded. Featured image credits Sado Project Buh.